DBS checks are carried out by the Disclosure and Barring Service, also known as DBS. A DBS check is a record of a person's criminal convictions and cautions, and once the check is complete, you'll receive a DBS certificate. When you apply for some jobs or volunteering roles, you may be asked to apply for a DBS check. DBS checks help employers make decisions about your suitability for a role, and for some roles, DBS checks are a legal requirement. The type of information on a DBS certificate will vary depending on the type of DBS check you apply for. This video will give you an overview of the different types of DBS check and how to apply for them. More information is available in our Quick Guide to DBS Checks leaflet and on our website gov.uk forward slash DBS. What countries does DBS cover? DBS processes DBS checks for people working in England, Wales, the Channel Islands and the Isle of Man. Those working in Scotland should apply for checks via Disclosure Scotland and those in Northern Ireland should apply via Access NI. What types of DBS checks are available? There are four types of DBS check. A basic DBS check, a standard DBS check, an enhanced DBS check and an enhanced with barred lists DBS check. What information will each type of DBS certificate contain? A basic DBS certificate will contain details of unspent convictions and conditional cautions. A standard DBS certificate will contain details of spent and unspent convictions and cautions subject to filtering. An enhanced DBS certificate will contain details of spent and unspent convictions and cautions subject to filtering, alongside relevant non-conviction information from the police. An enhanced with barred list DBS certificate will contain details of spent and unspent convictions and cautions subject to filtering, alongside relevant non-conviction information from the police. This level of certificate will also show if there is a match against either of the barred lists. The type of role will determine whether the children's, adults or both barred lists are checked. What do spent and unspent mean? Under the Rehabilitation of Offenders Act 1974, many convictions and cautions become spent after a specified period of time. This is known as the Rehabilitation Period. This means that once the Rehabilitation Period has been completed, they will not show on a basic DBS check. You do not need to tell anyone about a spent conviction unless you're applying for a job where a standard, enhanced or enhanced with barred lists DBS check is needed. Spent convictions and cautions will be disclosed on standard, enhanced and enhanced with barred lists DBS certificates subject to filtering rules. What does filtering mean? Filtering is the term DBS uses to describe the process that identifies which criminal records will be disclosed on standard, enhanced and enhanced with barred lists DBS certificates. Certain old or minor offences may not be disclosed these are known as protected offences. There are a lot of offences that will always be disclosed on standard, enhanced and enhanced with barred lists DBS certificates, unless they relate to a youth caution. These are known as specified offences and are usually of a serious violent or sexual nature or are relevant for safeguarding vulnerable groups, including children. All convictions resulting in a custodial sentence, whether or not suspended, will always be disclosed. Youth cautions, warnings and reprimands will not be disclosed automatically on a standard, enhanced or enhanced with barred lists DBS certificate. What information can be disclosed by the police? A chief police officer can disclose any information they may hold if they believe that an organisation might need this information to decide if you are suitable to employ or volunteer. The Chief Police Officer will look at who you are going to be working with and what you'll be doing to help decide what information they should disclose. What are the DBS barred lists? DBS manages two lists which include people that are barred from working or not allowed to work in certain roles with vulnerable groups including children. These are known as the barred lists. One of these lists includes people that are barred from working with children and the other list includes people that are barred from working with vulnerable adults. If your work involves working in a certain role with children and or vulnerable adults or a small number of other roles, the employer can ask for a check of one or both lists, depending on which group you'll be working with. 
who can apply and how to apply for a DBS check. Anyone over the age of 16 can apply for a basic DBS check. Individuals can apply directly to DBS through our online application route or through a responsible organisation. Standard, Enhanced and Enhanced with Bardless DBS checks are only suitable for certain types of roles, so individuals cannot apply by themselves. There must be a recruiting organisation, such as an employer, who will submit the application to DBS and decide if the individual is suitable for the role upon receipt of the DBS certificate. I'm self-employed. Can I apply for a DBS check? Self-employed people can apply for a basic DBS check. They can't, however, apply for a standard, enhanced or enhanced with barred lists DBS check by themselves. This is because there must be a recruiting body such as a recruitment agency or contracting organisation who will decide whether the self-employed person is suitable for the role. How much do DBS checks cost and who pays for them? Information on DBS fees can be found on our website gov.uk forward slash DBS. Your potential employer will discuss who is responsible for paying the fee and how the fee will be paid. Standard, enhanced and enhanced with barred lists DBS checks are free of charge for volunteers. However, the organisation that submits your application may still charge a fee for processing the check. Basic DBS checks always involve a fee, even for a volunteer role. What is the Update Service? The Update Service is an online subscription service that enables individuals to register their standard, enhanced or enhanced with barred list DBS certificates and allows employers to check if the certificate is up to date. The Update Service is not available for basic DBS certificates. Further information around the topics covered throughout this video can be found on our Quick Guide to DBS Checks leaflet, which is available on our website gov.uk forward slash dbs.